Hi, this is Priyanka from Airing. Today I want to talk about why analytics fail. In my past 10 years of experience in analytics and business, I have seen organizations where analytics is successful. Why in other organizations with similar investment in tools and resources analytics fail? What are the top 5 reasons why analytics fail? One of the biggest reasons for analytics failure is driven by company culture. Many organizations value gut-driven decisioning and do not yet understand the power of decision when data is married to gut. There are also stakeholder alignment issues where data and insights are being generated in silos without proper alignment and handshake with respective business partners. In essence, good analytics need good context. Without proper stakeholder alignment, much of the analytics effort goes to waste. The second important reason why analytics fail is because of data issues. Good analytics need clean, accurate data. As an example, is your customer behavior and action on your website well instrumented to capture clean, meaningful information to understand what's working, what's not for your customers? The access to data needs to be easy as well. Some of the big failures I've seen is where relevant data was not being captured or not sanitized or sanitized or the data sat in disparate sources making the access impossible. The third top reason for failure is analyzing data and producing insights without understanding the real business question. In an organization at any given time, there are tons of issues and questions, some more important than the other. In the midst of so much chaos, without prioritizing and doing the due diligence to understand the real business question, most of the analytics effort goes to waste. The next top reason why analytics fail is because of lack of analytics education. Most analysts and professionals analyzing data do not have formal training in analytics. Some of us learn statistics and data mining, but analytics is more than that. Professionals analyzing data learn most of what they do on their job. This lack of formal training often results in chaotic, unstructured approach to analytics, including use of incorrect techniques and methodologies, which results in wasted hours and effort. And lastly, but importantly, I have seen analytics fail because the insights and recommendation were not customized to the audience and pre presented in the context. Either too much detail was presented or too little. Sometimes the analysis was left at just the insight stage without any actionable recommendations. Often visuals were too distracting. So we at Airing recognize the missed opportunities in the business due to lack of formal training in analytics. And we have designed our data decision series addressing these issues directly. We recognize great analytics is a result of good technical skills and good soft skills. Very few professionals are naturally skilled at both. Good technical skills enables re right insights from data. The soft skills of influencing, stakeholder alignment, consensus building and presentation help with turning those insights into real impact in the organization. We have designed an easy to follow, structured, five-step analytics framework to get one from data to decision. This five-step framework starts from understanding the real business question. That is to get the biggest bang for the buck from analytics. Laying out the analysis plan so we are not boiling the ocean. Data collection and audit, laying out techniques to handle unclean data and feeding that information back to data management team for improving the data capture process. Deriving insights using right techniques and methods and clear, crisp presentation to customize to the audience. We incorporate examples, exercises, case simulations, and role play to facilitate learning of both technical skills and soft skills. On the technical side, we cover the three most commonly used techniques. Trend analysis is used for analyzing trends of sales revenues and identify breaks in trend. Sizing and estimation is used for business case analysis with limited internal data with dependence on ex external data and good assumptions. Correlation analysis is used to study relationship of an attribute with another. It's useful in pre-post analysis, test control, pilot analysis, marketing campaign analysis, and building meaningful dashboards. These three techniques cover about 70 to 80% of current business problems, which can be solved by data. We also introduce participants to advanced topics of predictive analytics, covering what is it, why is it useful, case studies from Fortune 500 companies, 
and live demo. And we also introduce test and learn covering the three steps of effective experimental design. It's also known as A-B testing or multivariate testing. Here's what our workshop attendees have to say about us. So the, I attended a workshop uh, with Pianca, uh, and it was phenomenal. Uh, they were able to basically distill what's a very difficult topic into some very uh, easy to understand bits of information where uh, terms, you know, predictive analytics, logistic regression, and all the very complicated terms that you find are very much, uh, uh, you can kind of get a sense of what it's like, what it actually means and what the applications are. Um, after attending their workshop, I'd say that, um, you know, a lot of the um, terminology became very clear, a lot of the practices, and just the overall broad kind of knowledge of the predictive analytics space uh, really came alive. And so, very grateful for the opportunity to be able to uh, get that level of instruction uh, from them. And I took, I took uh, Ering's class in predictive analytics in their, their, their pre-conference workshops, and I found it very interesting. They not only covered the uh, the general knowledge of, of all of the, the statistical tools that are out there and all the mathematics and statistics that are necessary to, to do this, but they also showed a really fantastic industry proven process to implement these these techniques and, and these methodologies into your, your organization. And they covered equally amounts, not only the mathematics, but in fact, they even covered more so the implementation process and the human element behind this and the necessity to be able to communicate your results in an intuitive, easy to understand manner. We have trained professionals from Fortune 100 companies, including Google, Apple, PayPal, eBay, Microsoft, to name a few. And we can empower you with the same level of analytics training. Our next public workshop is going to be held in Grand Hyatt, San Francisco from February 22nd to 24th. We will cover the five-step framework brought home by examples, exercises, case simulation, and role play, covering both technical skills and soft skills. The analysis is done using Excel as tool, so everybody has it, and we cover several high-impact topics, including metrics and dashboards, data-driven decision process, coordination, and prioritization. We also cover one full day of predictive analytics and test and learn. Early bird ends soon, so register today. We'll see you there.